So y'all, another level unlock. So this is my thing that I say when I gain some like perspective and some real clarity. I feel like my mind has expanded and opened and given me this, this clarity. You know, that's when people say the third eye. So like my third eye has really been unlocking levels right now. So I want to talk to y'all to a, a specific level um, that I currently unlock. So. I was just talking to my husband and we were just talking about people in our lives and our past like friendships right and just comparing you know the different maybe the different issues you've had we've had with you know said friends with this friend with that friend like you know all of these things and as we're discussing this I'm realizing like oh shoot it's some of the same issues like it's some of the same issues that's happening with these past friends. Like it ain't, I, it ain't varying. It ain't like oh, this one over here. It's like it, it come boils down to the same thing. So then I'm like, well, sh so I'm basically picking the same friend, just in a different package. I'm picking out the same people just packaged in a different way. The same issue just presented in a different way. So then it's like, well, shoot. Hmm. Is it that this is just people? This is like who people are? Or is it something about me it's something that I have going on that I'm not able to recognize why I keep picking the same person, but just in a different form or fashion. Now, it would have been easy for me to just be like, yeah, but most people ain't shit. So, you know, that's why. But that's that's the easy thing because I don't believe that. I believe that even even in the, the, the people we may have have issues with and, you know what I'm saying, they've done us wrong, we've done people wrong too. And I believe that it just comes from the fact that we have a lot of issues that we don't unpack, that we don't heal from. And so our hurt and our unhealed is going to track other people's hurt and other people's unhealed. But I digress. Let me get back to my... So, well, I guess I really don't digress because what I just said has a lot to do with this. Because what I recognize is it was really me. It's not these people. It's really me. It's really me. And my problem that I recognize is the fact that I didn't have boundaries. And I had problems placing boundaries. And because I didn't have boundaries... I expected people around me to create some type of boundaries for me, which is not their place and it's not their job, nor is it their responsibility. So if you don't have boundaries, you're going to deal with people who not going to respect you or boundaries because you don't have none. What is there to, to, to respect? So if I want to call you last minute to come do something and I don't prepare you, I don't give you a heads up and I call you last minute and you jump up and you do it, then that's what I expect. So I'm going to keep doing it. And you then can't just decide one day, well, you know what? Why do you keep calling me last minute to come hang out and do stuff with you? Why can't you give me a prep? Why don't you tell me what this... Because you haven't said it, ho. You haven't set the boundaries. You didn't set... When I came to you the first time last minute and I told you this, you didn't say, well, you know what? I really don't like people coming to me last minute and not giving me fair warning so I can be prepared to do said thing. I don't really like that. However, this time I'll do it because I don't have anything going on. But please next time, give me a heads up if you really want me to go because it's going to be a no. I'm not going to do it next time. So because of my lack of boundaries, I then tried to 
put that on to them as if that's it's their responsibility to respect a boundary that's not there or to give me some boundaries or to come into a, a friendship with me to say oh well i won't do that to you you know what i'm saying so like i've heard even discussions with us amongst women having friendships and it's like oh you know i felt uncomfortable she brought me to this person's house. i felt uncomfortable she did this i felt uncomfortable she did that but she did it because you never set a boundary to say what you were going to tolerate and what you're what you weren't tolerating tolerating in your friendship the first time she drug you to a space or a place that was uncomfortable you said nothing you said not a word when the first time she told you she was going to take you someplace and you was like i don't know she, girl you're gonna be fine you didn't express and set the boundary but like girl i don't play them games i don't do that i'm not going here i'm not doing that i'm not doing that i don't feel comfortable like this is my boundary so then we want to feel upset or we want to feel betrayed or we want to feel abused, used. We want to feel like a victim because we did not assert ourselves and put up our boundaries to, uh, to let people know what we're going to tolerate and what we're not going to tolerate, what our standards are, what, uh, what is required as far as respect. And then it had me thinking, this is why women walk around here believing that men as a whole, as a collective, ain't shit. It's because you keep picking the same type of man with the same issues, with the same triggers, with the same traumas, with the same baggage. And they're just packaged in a different way they just look different one may be taller shorter richer you know what i'm saying but it's the same man we keep picking so from your perspective your reality your perception i should say you keep picking these guys which internally as far as their issues are the same but their physical makeup you know what i'm saying or their their environment may be different you think you picking something different you know visually but you're not you're picking the same thing internally therefore you're believing that okay it, it just this must be just how men are this must be just the makeup of every man because there's no way I keep picking th these men who clearly visually look differently, but they still doing the same shit. So this has to be overall the collective of who these men are, but they aren't, baby. They aren't. You keep picking that same type of man. You think because it looked different, it's different, but it ain't. It's the same. And it's the same because it's some type of issue some type of, of 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 insecurity some type of unhealed wound you got going on that you keep attracting and keep picking these type of people mine's was boundaries maybe yours might be boundaries maybe you don't have boundaries with these men maybe because you're so excited and in the moment and you trying to snag this man Things that already kind of make you be like, I don't know about that. You don't set that up. You don't say, nah, I'm not with that. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So you can go ahead and filter these men out and get to the man that you're supposed to have. So it's really you. It ain't the man. You keep picking this same man. And you think because his hair, his hair curly or not, he, 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 you know what I'm saying? Or he dark or his eyes green or he live in the suburbs and not in the earth in, in the city. You think all of these things is going to reflect some type of, of, of different outcome when internally it's the same person you keep picking. You have an error in regards to the way you choose the men that you choose, just like I had an era in the way that I choose the friends that I was choosing. It was me, just like it is you. So now go figure out and go find out why it's you. Go find that, go, 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 go. 